Okay, so June 2013, we're asked to expand this 1 plus 6x to the power of 3rd, all right? So we'd have here 1, okay, plus then, of course, n is a 3rd times the x, which um, is, is 6x in this case. Okay, so remember n is the power, x then becomes 6x, plus then, well, you've got a 3rd here, and then n minus 1, well, a 3rd take away 1 is minus 2 thirds, okay? Check on your calculator if you want. 1 times 2 is 2, and then we've got a square x. We've got to square all of that, remember, okay? So that'll be 6x all squared plus dot, dot, dot. So all I've got to do then is simplify this. 1 plus, well, a third times 6 is 2x, okay? And then you've got a third times 2 thirds over 2. Well, if you work that out on your calculator, uh, what have we got? 2 thirds and divide by 2, you get 1 ninth, yeah? And, of course, it's minus a ninth. So remember what I've said before in previous videos, I like to work this out first, okay, on the calculator, minus a ninth, and then, of course, work this out. Square that, you get 36, 36x squared, yeah? And then last line, then, to get our complete answer for it, 1 plus 2x, and then 1 ninth times 36 is um, 36 divided by 9, which is 4, yeah? So 4x squared plus dot, dot, dot. Now, part two, then, it says, what is what's it valid for? Of course, then we use this from the formula booklet, and we put in um, what our x has become, 6x. We do mod 6x is less than 1. You would take the 6 out of the mod, and then, of course, then you take it over and divide, right? So um, mod x is less than 1 6. So that means x, then, is le less than 1 6 or greater than minus 1 6, okay? The actual size of it. It says in part B, use your expansion to part A to find an approximate value for one root of the equation of that, right? Two of this equals that. Now, let's just write that out. 2, 1 plus 6x to the power of third equals to 2x squared minus 15x. What they want you to do is, right, they want you to use this solution, okay, um, which we did, didn't we, um, up to x squared. Um, and remember, our solution for this um, is this here, yeah, using binomial theorem. So what we can do is substitute it in there, all right? So instead of having two times that bracket, remember there is a two in front, two times that bracket, I can have two times all of this, okay? And that will equal then to 2x squared minus 15x, okay? So I'm just substituting it in, right? I'm substituting my expansion in there. So if I simplify this, I get 2 plus 4x, minus 8x squared equals 2x squared minus 15x, okay? Um, we, we need to get it all onto one side, okay? That's what I, I would do there, get it all onto one side. So we'll get everything onto maybe um, the right-hand side. So we'll have zero there, 2x squared minus 15x. Take that minus 8x squared over, becomes plus 8x squared. Take that my, uh, 4x over, becomes minus 4x. Take that 2 over, becomes minus 2. So then this becomes 0 equals 2x squared plus 8x squared is 10x squared. Minus 15x minus 4x is minus 19x. And then um, what have we got there? Minus 2 at the end, yeah? So we've got that as our um, quadratic, we can see here, yeah? 10x squared. I mean, often we like to put... Um, you see you're on the right-hand side, but that's what we've got. 10x squared minus... 19x mi minus 2 equals 0. So let's see if we can solve this, because it is asking for one of the roots, right? One of the solutions, okay? Um, so factorize. Let's see um, if this works. Multiply, add. So remember, when you've got a, a, a number in front of the x squared, you, you times that by the constant here. So 10 times minus 2 is minus 20. And I've got to add up then to give that number there in front of the x, minus 19. So two numbers that multiply to give minus 20 add up to give minus 19. Well, I can think that 20 and 1, yeah? 20 times 1 gives me, gives me well, it gives me 20. But to get it to add up to minus 19, I need to be minus 20, so I'm plus 1. That would make sense, wouldn't it? Minus 20 plus 1 is minus 19. Multiply them, gives you minus 20. So in two brackets, using this method we use, we put 10x in both of them, okay? And then we put these numbers in. Minus 20 plus 1 equals 0. And remember, because we... Um, because we multiply by 10, we need to sort of um, pay back now. We need to divide by 10. And if we divide by 10, that first bracket there, there's a common factor of 10, isn't there? 10 goes into it. So I can take that out. 
bracket x minus 2 and 10x plus 1 equals 0 all over 10. So then we can get our solutions. 10s will cancel. It's quite simply then we say, look, x minus 2 equals 0 or uh, the other one equals 0. Okay, two brackets times together equals 0. One of them's got to be 0. So that means then um, x minus 2 will equal 0. So that means x will equal 2 or um, 10x will equal minus 1, so x will equal minus a 10. Now, it does say for one root, doesn't it? Okay, and we've got two out, haven't we? We've got two roots out. Yeah, but if you look at the question, it did say one root. Okay, so one of them's got to be wrong, isn't it? One of them's obviously not right here. Okay, um, what's not right? Well, if we go back to the member, remember now this is based on the binomial expansion. This is, yeah, binomial expansion we use. But remember, with the binomial expansion, it was only valid for this x is less than one sixth the size of it so if x is going to be less than one sixth well one tenth will be fine won't it okay because my or minus a tenth is fine because minus a tenth the size of that okay and um, the size of minus a tenth is just a tenth isn't it now that will be less than one sixth okay so that's fine that that's okay that ticks the box however the size here of this size of x here, the size of 2 is 2, but that is not less than 1 6, okay? So we say our solution is x equals minus 1 tenth, okay? And we'll, that's our solution now. And we just say, look, x equals 2 um, is not a solution, okay? It's, it's not a solution because it's outside of our range, basically, okay? It's outside of our range for this binomial theorem to actually work, okay? Job done.